I feel good about this one, folks. Customer asks, upgrading versus new, all right? And I felt like I saved this guy a lot of money. I don't know if he's gonna listen to me or not, but I don't know. I, th I think my rationale made sense. Anyway, so here we go. I would appreciate your honest feedback regarding buying a new tractor with the options already included or adding upgrades to my existing tractor. You may have already addressed this on a YouTube video. All right, so before we get into it, okay, guy has an old tractor, trying to decide if he, this is a common question, you know, trying to decide if you invest the money in that one or if you get a brand new one, all right? And a lot of different criteria, depending on how many hours, how much you have to invest, if you like your tractor, if it's suiting your needs and other things like that too, that we'll get into. But um, I thought this was relevant to share because it's a very common thing and a tough decision to make. So he says, I currently have a nine-year-old New Holland Boomer 24 with approximately 550 hours. It has a front end loader, which is part of the original package. There are no hydraulics other than what's on there to operate the loader. I'm considering a grapple option and also considering a hydraulic hookup on the back of the tractor. By hydraulic hookup, I think he means just like the outlets to hook up something on the back, maybe a top link, could be a lot of different uses for that. My main question is, is it better to purchase a new tractor with all the bells and whistles or upgrade my boomer? I'm asking for trouble. Uh, hang on, let me reread this. Ah, uh, this is where, okay, so I, see, so this is something that I'm, I'm reading this now and I didn't understand what he was saying the first time, but now I get it. So he essentially does not have the skid steer quick attach on his loader right now. So in between his loader and his bucket, it's a pinned bucket. So he doesn't have that adapter on there. And so that's gonna be an extra requirement that he needs, um, but there are some workarounds. Or will his money be better spent upgrading the boomer and buying new options buying it with the new options included, okay? So he says the tractor size seems adequate for his needs. He likes what he sees on the Coyote and some other brands and they have a local dealer too. Anyways, looking for my honest assessment. All right, so customer, I'm not gonna mention your name, but um, to clarify in this video as well, I'll try to follow up in another email too, just to make sure that's reiterated. But that was what I was getting at in the email, Mr. Customer, and for you viewers out there, that's a big consideration because if you want to get a quick attach grapple, you need to have a quick attach between your loader and your bucket. And if you don't have one, there are some things you can do, and we'll get to that in a second. But if you want to add that, well, we can do it, okay, with HLA or with WorkSaver. We normally just see which one has the cheaper one, but they're no both normally priced about the same. And they're not cheap. I think you can find some Chinese ones or maybe get lucky on random occasions and find one for maybe under a grand somewhere. Um, but these guys are like normally around $2,000. And so that includes the adapter that stays pinned onto your loader and it has a skid steer quick attach plate on it. And that includes a weld on frame that you would put on the back of your bucket. So that's now compatible with it. And that of course includes shipping as well. So that's a chunk of money. Um, however, if you bought a tractor nine years ago and it only has 550 hours, it's working well, it suits your needs, doesn't have a lot of problems, it, the market's changed a lot in nine years. And so new tractors are insanely expensive. And so if you go to replace that tractor now, there's gonna be a huge additional cost. You're still gonna have to add on additional hydraulics, okay? The, the third, function does not come standard on almost any tractor. Summit tractors does include the third function, um, but most of them don't. So you're paying extra for that either way, whether you keep your tractor or if you get a new one. Okay, so that's a wash. There's, there's no real cost difference there. If you wanna get a rear remote, your tractor doesn't have one right now. So that is a cost that you'd have to incur. If you get a new Coyote, almost every Coyote comes standard with a rear remote on the back. So there'd be some savings there. But um, the delta between going new to just upfitting yours is there's, there, there's, there's thousands and thousands of dollars there. So the big cost is going to be that skid steer quick attach. And, you know, you're upgrading your current tractor to, to suit more of your needs. I think that's the way I would go is I would, I would save all the money on a new tractor unless you're just looking to spend money. Um, but nine years, 550 hours, which honestly is pretty, pretty par for the course. You know, most folks put a lot more time on their tractor in the first year, and then it kind of tapers down over time. Not everybody. Some of you 
use your tractor a whole bunch, and that's good. We are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze, and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. But that was, my, that was my opinion on the matter. Save your money, invest in those upgrades on the existing tractor. There is a way you can get around not having to invest in that quick attach, all right? That's a great convenience, but not necessary for a grapple. We've shown the precision at a grapple before on this channel. It still requires getting a third function, but it bolts to your bucket, okay? And so it just kind of rocks up out of the way when you don't need it, and then it's hooked up, ready to go. You know, you got the third function on there, you can still push the button and clamp those jaws down. And so grab onto a rock or a pile of debris or whatever the heck you want to do, and you don't have, ever have to take your bucket off. It's just there, get the third function, get just the top jaw of a grapple, bolt it on, you're in action. You don't have to worry about that other expensive modification, getting the SSQA involved on there. And it can be an even more cost-effective solution, minimize your investment overall. You're not rocking the boat too much. And in the end of the day, maybe it's not exactly like a regular hydraulic grapple. It's pretty darn close. So, you know, I would, it depends how much you want to invest, right? I mean, it, it really does. But your, your most expensive option is getting the brand new tractor far and away, the most expensive option. Second most expensive option, getting the traditional grapple, right? Where you have to invest in that skid steer quick attach as the biggest cost. You know, if you're going to get a grapple, you're, you have the cost of the grapple and the third function too. Cheapest cost, get in the third function still, but then just the added grapple. Don't worry about the SSQA. If you've made it this far and that's all you're looking to do with it, then that's, man, that's a good, that's a good route to go. So you can get the grapple from Precision. We sell all this stuff on the website too, but uh, get the grapple from Precision. Now, if you do need hydraulic stuff for your tractor, we've talked about it a lot, but did you know that there's, on average, every day, 50% of the people that watch our channel are first-time viewers. It's crazy. So that's why you see me repeat a lot of information is because there's constantly new people that are watching our channel, uh, which is, is hard to believe there's that many people out there. But um, it's also pretty cool. And so sometimes you see me repeat myself, and, and that's the reason for doing that. But uh, Summit Hydraulics is a partner of ours where you go to their website or you give them a phone call. Their hydraulics experts you know they've got the solutions for everything for third functions for rear remotes for top and tilt kits um, for hoses for fittings all that kind of stuff for your tractors and so you can say five percent with the go code gwt you go over there and they'll be happy to help i know enough to be dangerous but they're the folks that you want to talk to to make sure you get set up with the right equipment so on that note uh, i hope that this helps that customer directly but i also want this to help other folks that are out there trying to deal with those same decisions or maybe you're looking at a brand new tractor versus a used tractor and maybe there's a huge delta between those costs but you know that the used one maybe is missing a few of the things that you want to have on it and you're just trying to sum up all those costs and see if it still makes sense so there's just different ways to get creative and get to those solutions sometimes and uh, get workarounds if maybe uh you know, maybe your tractor that you're looking at doesn't have an SSQA and you still want to see, can, is there a way to put a grapple on there? This has been a big roadblock and how can I do that? So uh, anyway, if you're looking for something for your tractor or if you just have a question, you know, I mean, obviously a lot of these videos that we make are from user questions. So if somebody has it, that's how my whole channel started is, is people asked questions, the same questions over and over. And I thought, well, if I can make videos about various topics and put them out there and then I'm probably going to be able to answer questions just with those videos for all sorts of other folks without them, you know, having to look for the answer to ours. So that's uh, kind of what it's all about here. But if you're looking for a, a tractor or a tractor attachment, go to goodworkstractors.com. We ship nationwide every day of the week. We'd love to help you out. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day. I always forget what I say there. I'd like... Nah, I got this. Thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by, and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.